In an axial flow compressor, P01 to P02 represent one stage. T01 is the initial stagnation temperature at inlet and T02 is the stagnation temperature at outlet for the stage number 1. So, we can define the stage efficiency as the compression follows the index more than gamma. So, this point will be your equals to T02 dash. For this curve, uh, index n is more than gamma and this one is n equals to gamma. So, stage efficiency is defined as isentropic enthalpy drop to actual enthalpy drop. The isentropic enthalpy drop is given by Cp multiplied by T02 minus T01. Actual enthalpy drop is defined as Cp into T02 dash minus T01. Cp will get cancelled and will get the stage efficiency equals to T02 minus T01 upon T02 dash minus T01. Now, if you modify this equation, we can directly calculate the T02 dash by T01 equals to 1 plus. So, you can uh, without calculating T02, we can calculate T0 dash using this equation. The pressure ratio in the axial stage compressor is very low. So, to compress a pressure ratio of around 8 to 10, we require the number of stages. So, let us say this is the number of stages here stage 1, this one is stage 2, stage 3, stage 4. Likewise, we have number of stage equal to n. So, this one is the temperature at the end of n stage that is the isentropic T0 n dash is the, is the temperature obtained after the n stages. This one is the actual temperature and this one is theoretical temperature. So, this one is basically called as the total efficiency of a compressor or we called as compressor efficiency. So, if we apply the equation for T0 n dash divided by T0 n stage efficiency and here is a compressor efficiency. This one is stage pressure ratio, this one is overall pressure ratio. So, everything is almost same. The work done per stage is given as Cp multiplied by T02 dash minus T01. This one is 2 dash is the te temperature at the end of the first stage and T01 is the stagnation temperature at inlet. And the, if you want to calculate the work done for total, then you take the overall temperature difference that equal to this point and this point. So, that is T0 n dash minus T01. Both units are kilojoules per kg, Cp is 1.005. Similarly, the work done in the every stage is equally distributed and is given by u multiplied by vf multiplied by tan beta 1 minus tan beta 2. And if you want to calculate the total work done, so you take this value equals to n multiplied by this whole factor. Beta 1 is called as blade inlet angle and beta 2 is called as blade outlet angle. u is called as blade velocity and vf is called as flow velocity. Sometimes you are given the factor k that is called as the work done factor. If you have given this factor, then take this factor, otherwise take the value of k equals to 1. The degree of reaction is represented by a special symbol. The ohm symbol is given by u divided by 2 times of Vm into tan of beta 1 plus tan of beta 2. In a special case, if degree of reaction is 0.5, then we have alpha 1 is same as beta 2 and alpha 2 is same as beta 1. The flow coefficient is another term used is represented by psi is a ratio of flow velocity by blade velocity and the blade velocity is given by pi d n by here T01 is called as stagnation temperature, T1 is called as steady temperature, V1 is the velocity at the point number 1 so it's twice Cp. So, this is a unit conversion for this is a conversion for static temperature to stagnation temperature. Mach number is defined as V by C and C is called as velocity of sound is under root of gamma multiplied by R multiplied by T where this T is at static temperature, not a stagnation temperature. In an axial flow compressor, air enters the compressor at a stagnation temperature and pressure of 1 bar and 292. Pressure ratio is, total pressure ratio is 9.5. Isentropic efficiency of compressor is 0.85. You want to find out the work of compression and the end stages. We are given gamma and Cp value. So, stagnation pressure at inlet is 1 bar and the stagnation temperature at inlet is 292 Kelvin. The overall pressure ratio is 9.5 and isentropic of compressor is 0.85. So, we have a relation between the temperature at the end of n stages that is T0 n dash is equals to T01 this is the actual temperature 1 plus 1 by eta C Rp overall to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1. We will put this value and we will calculate the T0 n dash. So, put T01 equal to 292 eta C equal to 0.85 overall pressure ratio is 9.5 gamma minus 1 is 0.4 gamma is 1.4 subtract minus 1 and solve for T0 n dash. So, at the end of the end stages, we have the actual temperature is 602.07. Now, once we know the temperature, we can find out the work done. So, work done can be obtained using this equation that is Cp multiplied by T0 n dash minus T01. So, we will substitute the value of Cp equals to 1.005 and the T0 n dash equal to 602.07 and 292 is your T01. 
and we'll solve this. We'll get total work done in kilojoules per kg. 311.62 kilojoules per kg, that is total work done. In one stage of an axial flow compressor, the pressure ratio is 1.22 and the air inlet stagnation number is 288. If he has given only the temperature, you treat as a stagnation temperature unless until mentioned. The stagnation temperature rise in the stage is 21 Kelvin. This is the actual temperature rise. The rotor tip speed is 200 meter per second and the rotor rotates are 4, 5. You want to calculate the stage efficiency and the diameter of rotor. So this problem of single stage, we have our pressure ratio for one stage is 1.22 and the stagnation temperature at inlet is 288 and we have given the stagnation temperature rise equal to 21 Kelvin. So actual temperature rise is given by T02 dash minus T01 equal to 21 Kelvin. So we have given the difference between T02 dash and T01 and this uh, this one is T02 and T01. T02 is the isentropic, T02 dash is actual. So compressor efficiency can be defined as the isentropic drop divided by actual drop. In that case, we should know the value of T02 first. So the stage efficiency or small stage efficiency is given by T02 minus T01 upon T02 dash minus T01, smaller divided by larger quantity. What we don't know is value of T02, but 01 to 02 is what? Isentropic process. So for isentropic process, we have T02 by T01 equal to P02 by P01 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. P02 by P01 is nothing but pressure ratio is 1.22. T01 so we are we don't know t02 t01 is 288 this ratio is rp 1.22 gamma minus 1 is 0.4 gamma is 1.4 assume this gamma equals to 1.4 solve for t02 so we are getting t02 equal to 304.83 so put this value and we can solve for stage efficiency because this difference is known t0 is known and t02 we have just calculated so if you put this value we will get stage efficiency equals to 80.17 percent so that is our first stage answer Second stage, we want to find out diameter of rotor. We have given the rotor speed and we have given the value of rotational speed. So, we have very plain simple equation is u equals to pi dn by 60. So, put u is equal to 200 and then n is equal to 4500 divided by 60. So, we can solve for diameter d. So, diameter come out to be 0.848 meters that is 84.8 cm.